Morning, morning. Today I'm on the farm here and um, I'm going to bring something very special to you today. I'm here with one of the case students and she's going to show us how they know the weight of our animal. I, I, I really don't know the technicality of it, but you can also know the weight of an animal by measuring the animal. Um, and she's going to explain it to us and I wanted to bring this. So this is Trevor Bernard. I'm here today doing some small ruminants business, recording stuff so that my farmers out there can learn some new things. So right here, I have a animal scale. This is a mechanical animal scale. I have a ram now inside of the scale. This is what we use to weigh our, um, our goats. And you know, we can track the weight of the animals. Now this is a mechanical animal scale. Now, we weigh this animal. This is a, a mechanical beam scale type animal scale. It has gates and all that and it can open them and let out the animal and do whatever. So when we weighed this animal, it was weighed 154 pounds. So this goat weighs 154 pounds. And we are now going to do a demonstration of Miss Powell. This is Miss Powell. She's a case student. And what is the method called? The heart girt tape method. The heart girt tape method. And this method is used in the field to know the weight of goat, sheep, cattle, and so forth. So let's take a look at how this is done. We have now removed the animal from the scale and she is going to now give a demonstration of how this method is used to calculate the weight of the animal. So, all right, so with the heart girth method, basically you're going to do is to get the girth of the animal, right? So the girth, the girth of the animal is all the way around. It's like a circumference of the animal, basically. Right, so you're taking the measurement of the entire circumference of this area. So she's going to use a cord and just wrap around the animal and take that measurement. Go ahead. And it's not just to take the circumference. It's the reason why it's called a heart girl tape. They have to take the circumference around the heart area. Right where the heart area is. You're taking the measurement of the heart area. So she's using the cord and she's measuring it. So she's going to take this measurement and we are going to use a tape measure and measure it. And also you have to remind, be reminded that there is a specific design tape for this, known as the heart grade tape. And uh, while this regular construction tape measure is being used, it's not the optimum um, tool to use. So, 37. So this is 37 inches. So as, as um, as he said a while ago, there is a special tape measure called the heart girt tape. tape. It's called a heart girt tape that you use and do this procedure. And then the second measurement you take is the length of the animal. Is the length of the animal. And the length of the animal is measured from here from the pin bone, from the pin bone to, the shoulder blade. to the shoulder blade. So as you know, the pin bone is the sharp bone. Is the sharp bone right here, right? This one. Right for the back. Oh, right at the back. Yeah, this sharp bone here, right at the back. There's two bones here. One is here, and you feel a little bump right here, so. Like right at the pelvic bone, right. So you take the measurement from this bone to? The shoulder blade. The shoulder blade, which is right in the front here, the shoulder blade. So you take that measurement, and we are now going to measure this, and we get 35 and a half or 35? Then I normally use a 36. Yeah. 36. So that is now 36 um 36 inches. Yeah. And then what you do now? And so the calculation is the heart girth squared, or you can say heart girth by heart girth, and you multiply that by the length. And once you get that value, you divide it by 300, which is a standard value to use the heart girth method. Let's start again. So, 
with the two figures that we had, we're going to tell you the calculation now. All right, so basically what you did is the heart girt that you got, you square that value, or if you want to say heart girt, by heart girt, multiplied by the length. So what that does is give you uh, a value, and then there's a standard value that is 300, where you go ahead and divide the answer from the heart girt times heart girt times length by the 300, and that's the value you would get as the approximation of the weight of that man. So this is an approximate weight, and when we work it out, we got 59, 159 pounds. And when we weighed it on the scale, we got one, 155. 155, I think it was, right. So this is an idea, gives you a rough idea of what the weight is. But this method is not dead accurate. A scale is always more accurate. But this gives you an idea that when you are in the field, you can actually know the weight of the animal by calculation. And we are going to put it up on, on a piece of paper with the exact calculations that you can see further in the explanation. So what we did today, we didn't have a hard girt tape measure. So we do use a tape measure to, to do this calculation. And that's what we'll do. But I'm gonna just we're gonna also show you, you know, in writing also, so you can see how this what how this procedure is done. So this method is here to show you how you can calculate the weight of an animal, especially when you go to a cattle or a very huge ram. It's very difficult for you to control. Maybe the ram is out in the field, you can't carry a scale where the, the, the animal is and you have to use methods like these to average the weight. So if I decide I want to sell this ram, that's what I would use. It's an approximation. It's an approximation, but it gives you a good value of how much this animal weighs. Thanks so much for watching. And um, you know, I'm thanking these two young people. They are from Case and other institutions to have helped us today. They are here learning a lot of things on my farm and they are also teaching me some things too because I don't really know this method. So thanks for continuing to watch my channel. Big up.